Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to be doing some gardening. I have with me a packet of wildflowers, which are red poppies, sunflower, and marigold. So stay tuned. So what you're gonna need is a planter of any kind. If you have a planter outside, you can even use that one out there. Um, if you're using a planter like I have, you're going to need some sort of drainage. So we have rocks here, but you could use gravel as well. Um, if you're using gravel or rocks, it's probably best that you rinse them first just to get any extra dust or unnecessary buildup for the bottom of the planter. Then you're going to need your seeds, which for me, I have the poppy seed, sunflower, and marigold. Um, you could use whatever you want. You can use vegetables, flowers, um, specific flowers, any kind of plant. Um, just follow the instructions on the back of the packet because what I'm going to do for here is specific to this packet. It might not be the same for every packet. So vegetables might be different from flowers. Some need direct sunlight, some need partial sunlight. Um, some need different levels of watering. So just follow along with that. You'll also need soil and water. So I went ahead and filled my planter up with rocks that have been drained uh, to about this far in the pot. If not, I just went and eyeballed it with using, um, this as a guide for where to stop the rocks. It's adequate drainage. It's about an inch, inch and a half of the bottom. The next step is to add the soil and I left about a couple centimeters from the top. Um, then the next step would be to follow the packet of your flower or plant of choice. Um, mine is to just compress the seeds into the soil. Some ask for you to poke holes into it and have them spaced out a little bit. But I will come back and show you what my seeds look like in the soil before I compress them and water them. Alright, if you look closely you can kind of see the little tiny um, seeds there. Um, they're just going to be compressed into the dirt. So I'm just going to push them in a little bit so that they have a chance to get compressed in. And then I'm going to water them. All right, so I'm going to water them. And I'm going to slowly add the water in. You'll be able to know how much water to add because the water will no longer settle at the top. It will drain to the bottom and then when it's full and doesn't need any more water, it will kind of just stick at the top. So it's best to start off slow so you're not over watering. And that's about it. You can go put this where it's supposed to go. So mine is in a fully sunny spot. So I'm gonna go and put that by my window. So this is the final step for me. The packet called for full sun, so I have this in a window that gets sun all day long from my backyard, and hopefully I will see some sprouts soon. Can't wait to see what you guys are growing.